Welcome back to the Mad Spideyverse. I'm Mad Spidey, and once again, thank you so much for tuning in my channel. Uh, today is going to be another one of my statue collection. Um, so if you've never, ever seen one of these episodes before, I know people who do watch my content regularly and obviously have seen some of these videos, this video series before. Um, I generally go through the usual sort of stuff. So if you want to just fast forward through that, uh, that's fine. Um, but for anybody who's watching this for the first time, never seen one before, basically my entire statue collection is done by a company called Bowen Designs. It was very prevalent back in the late, mid to late nineties, early two thousands. Uh, they basically were like, you know, the company. Um, at the time, obviously nowadays you've got Sideshow and Iron Studios and about a million other different companies. But back in those days, Bowen had the Marvel um, Studios right or Marvel Comics right, should I say? Um, they pretty much did three different lines. They did a mini bust, a mini statue, and a full size statue. Um, now, in saying that, the mini statue and the full size statue were in 99 times out of 100 were basically exactly the same just on a smaller scale um i did try to become a completist and literally try to get them all um but then i thought there's no point getting the mini statues and the full size so i just stuck to the mini bust and the full size statue um bowen designs i'm pretty sure now this is something that i i sort of remember but i'm not 100% sure and I probably should you know research it but there's not as much online about Bowen designs as what they used to be uh, but I'm pretty sure they had five phases so obviously there'll be a lot of recurring characters like your main characters like your Iron Man, Captain America, Spider-Man you know um, you know Hulk and things like that they quite often did different versions each phase uh, but they did dive into the back history of a lot of Marvel characters as well especially with the mini bus minibus they tend to like really dig deep um like they you know did some characters that have only been in a, like a couple of issues um of books but you know for some reason the demand was there and then they did them and obviously they sold them um now in saying that the episode today will be a um a minibus so the last couple of episodes i've done have been full-size statues um but this one is actually a mini bust. Um, the other thing that I enjoy about doing this particular series is actually, like, remembering. Because a lot of this stuff, I haven't even opened the boxes in years. Like, some of them, probably even a decade or more. Maybe even, you know, two decades. Because I've been, I've been collecting this stuff, you know, since pretty much the, the late 90s. So, it's been, yeah, well over 20 years. Even though they haven't been, you know, they're not being made anymore and haven't been done for probably... I'd like to say 10 to 15 years, maybe a little longer. Um, but yeah, it's it's good to just sort of open them up and go, oh, that's what it looks like, that's what it feels like. And also extra surprises, you know, whether they're an artist proof version or they've been signed or, you know, they're like, you know, an extra special edition of something. You know, it's always good to remember that. You know, it's the nostalgia thing, obviously, as well. So anyway, we'll get into the actual piece itself. Um, now this is a silver surfer mini bust. So this was done from phase one. So and I have mentioned before, generally all the stuff that was done in phase one, especially, little bit in phase two and, and, and not as much in the later phases is, they were a little bit more basic when they did the early stages. Obviously, you know, just testing the waters and things like that. Um, so most of the mini busts, especially, wasn't anything great about like the back and the base was fairly basic um you know usually had no arms you know or any extra sort of bits and pieces added to it it was pretty much just a straight up and down museum posed of like you know a torso sort of thing you know as i said even generally without arms as well um so with a silver surfer one as you said it's a fairly smallish sort of box for a mini bust as well so you know that's from phase one because as i said fairly fairly basic uh the other thing to note obviously with the bowen designs as i said if you've never watched any of this series from me before or you've never heard of bowen designs they have the trademark sort of gray box that has sort of whole heap of like marvel sort of design 
you know, from comic book pages and things like that in the boxes. So it makes them very distinctive. Um, and especially with the minibus, they generally put an actual synopsis on the side of the character. They will generally put a picture of a first appearance or the first appearance or something at least close to it and a book that's been done as of release um, of, you know, when this statue was actually done, sort of a newer sort of book. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so in this sort of case, it hasn't given you the first appearance. It's just put like an older sort of book and a newer sort of book. But yeah, at least gives you a synopsis of the character. Um, generally on the other side, it will also give you sculpt details like physical height, who was sculpted by things like that, and if there were different versions as well. Now, in saying that, there was if there was actually two different versions of this in Phase 1. Um, they released at the same time. I think the standard one was... I think it was it was like many thousand. Like, it was like four or five thousand uh, limited edition worldwide. But they also did a Chrome edition that was only 500 worldwide. And this actually... Even though a fairly basic sort of unit, it was only 500 worldwide, the price on this really skyrocketed and stayed really high. I was lucky to pick this up for a very reasonable price at the time, and this is actually the Chrome Edition. So, uh, and the other thing I noticed when I went to my little storage area and I picked up the box, Generally, on the bottom, just above the Bowen Designs, or just below the Bowen Designs, they've usually got a tiny little sort of sticker saying, you know, one out of a thousand, or, you know, the edition number, basically. Um, but this one does not have anything on there, which means one of two things. Either it's, it's you know, it's come off, I've lost it, or whatever like that, or it's, you know, it's just come off with wear, or it's something a little bit more special. So, I've waffled on for long enough, let's open it up show you what it actually looks like all right the other thing to generally note is when you actually open the styrofoam they will generally have uh an up or the bow and design symbol on the styrofoam so you know which way to actually open it um but phase one not so much uh so this is a fairly basic sort of foam layout it's pretty much just a little little piece to to cover up the uh the main body of the foam Ah, uh, now I see why it was not marked on the bottom of the box. But this is the actual piece itself. So you can actually see the base is actually a surfboard. Very, very chromed out. And as I said, no arms, because it was phase one, so fairly basic. And you'll notice... A signature from the man himself, Randy Bowen, who, you know, was the CEO and founder of Bowen Designs, obviously the name suggests, uh, but he has actually initialed the back. So this makes this just that little bit extra special. Uh, and the other thing is that it is actually an artist proof as well. Like, even though he hasn't actually written AP on it, which usually stands for artist proof, he has actually initialed the bottom as well, but that that will actually mean that it's actually an artist proof. So usually, it's, yeah, it's just got the AP written there, but yeah, that is it. So very, very cool indeed. So happy to own this. And as I said, extra special. One, it's an artist proof. Two, it's actually signed. Um, and it's the very limited edition, 500 out of 500 worldwide and Chrome edition. So yes, very, very cool indeed. So, that will do for this particular video. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Obviously, do all the usual youtube -y stuff. Leave a comment if you wish to. Hit the thumbs up on the way out. And please, please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Uh, so, yeah. So, that'll do. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And Spidey out.